It is a box full of stuff that I got from Ralph Bear. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. So when I went out to visit Ralph, he told me that, that he was doing some inventing uh, of keyboards, of musical instruments. And no one really cared about the legacy of his keyboard inventions. So in these folders are his notes in his own hand of, well, of what the, his inventing process. So a lot of it is, uh, what you see in here is a lot of it, the, the books that he used to research it, and uh, electronic musical instruments. There are two copies, I think, of this one. Um, there's uh, Music, Sound, and Sensation by Fritz Winkle. I think I read the companion to this one. Uh, waves something and something. Um, there are service manuals for Electro Voice electronic organ, uh, technical manual for Gil Branson, all these wonderful uh, the Con Organ Serenade, and he was so excited to see me liking this stuff, and of course I loved it. Now, you get stuff like this. This is how he keeps his notes for his inventions, and he keeps very, very uh, careful and, and beautiful notes. So this is references, prior art, and he has a list. And remember, there weren't, com you know, you couldn't really like type on a computer, so this is all like typewritten. And the carbon copies are carbon copies. Um, this is a list of patent numbers and dates. Uh, this is keying system patents. This is references to literature. It's all typed out with a little bit of handwriting here where it says only directly applicable prior art something or other. Um, here he's sketched out... Uh, the uh, envelope, the volume envelope of a note. Um, and uh, let's see, background of the invention, all typed. There has been a considerable amount of creative development work done over the past 25 years. So here's his pitches uh, to sell the idea. Here are newspaper clips about venture capital even. Um, there were a couple of innovations. There are some things that he came up with in this uh, that may be firsts. Uh, it may be the first sampling keyboard. I'm not really sure. The first digital sampling keyboard. Um, not really sure. But uh, be that as it may, he gave it to me, and this is going to help me with my inventing. And I'll make sure that it gets logged in a way that you guys will, uh, will be able to access it, or your kids will be able to access it someday. Uh, because it's a lesson in how to invent stuff, really. Oh, yeah, and there's margin notes all over the place. There's corrections that he did in these, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just gorgeous. It's really, really neat. And nobody else, you know, that, that's the problem with, with, with Ralph's followers for the most part, you know, at the, at the Smithsonian and when he speaks at schools. Nobody's really interested in anything he did except for the video games. Uh, they all just want him to speak at their school, and they want him to tell about the video game lawsuit. But he's a very viable inventor, uh, and we're going to have him come out to Austin and talk to uh, some people about getting some projects started out here. Oh, there's one thing that's even better. All right. This is Richard Dorff, Electronic Musical Instruments. Now, you guys know the game Simon? Yes, you do. Do you know how Ralph Bear picked the notes to use for Simon? He's, he picked the notes so that they would all sound good together in any combination. He used the bugle notes. Here in the pages of the book, are his notes where he decided to use the bugle notes for Simon. So there it is, 
the ratio of bugle notes, and he's got all the math by it. And there it is. That's mm -hmm. why Simon, the game, sounds exactly the way it does. <laughs> and it's right on the page in the book. This is right where it sat in the book, right where he has the table of musical frequencies.